Hey guys, Alex Martin here. So, as of the recording of this video, we are, fake watch, 46 and a half hours away from the landing of Perseverance and Ingenuity, the Mars 2020 mission from NASA. This mission launched back on July 30th, carrying the Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity helicopter. Ingenuity is the very first of its kind, the first powered flight vehicle to ever be sent to another planet. Their destination is Jezero Crater, an ancient lake on Mars that was fed by a river delta. If you know anything about this guy behind me, his name is Zero. And Yes, his nickname, Zero, comes from Jezero Crater. The goal of the Perseverance mission is to search for signs of ancient fossilized life that may have resided in the river, the delta, or the Jezero Crater itself. But for the Ingenuity helicopter, it's the first of its kind, so this will just be a test flight. Because the atmosphere on Mars is 100 times less dense than that on Earth, it's going to take a lot more force to actually lift up the Ingenuity helicopter. The helicopter itself will have to be spinning at 6 thousand rpm compared to standard helicopters here on earth which only have to rotate about 500 rpm in order to lift off and because of the conditions on mars the ingenuity helicopter has to weigh six pounds six pounds and it has to spin at 6 thousand rpm just to lift off the surface of Mars. So while we're not going to be putting humans in helicopters on Mars just yet, this is a vital first step toward getting powered flight as a resource to explore Mars in the future. Perseverance and Ingenuity are joining two other missions that just reached Mars last week. We had the UAE's Hope Orbiter, which reached Mars's orbit and will be studying Mars from above. It's the UAE's first historic mission to Mars. The other spacecraft that reached Mars orbit recently was China's Tianwen-1 mission. This is a mission that did the same thing as the Hope Orbiter for the UAE. It's falling, it fell into orbit uh, actually a day later than UAE's mission did. However, China will be attempting to land Tianwen-1 come this April. But focusing on NASA's mission, Perseverance and Ingenuity have already traveled more than 200 million miles to reach Mars since they launched in July. Because when we launch a spacecraft, we do it as we're catching up to Mars. But that doesn't mean that as we pass Mars, the spacecraft is going to hit Mars. It means that we actually have to go all the way around the solar system before the spacecraft safely enters orbit and or lands on the planet. This reduces the energy required to actually reach Mars because taking off and just getting straight there is a huge expense as compared to taking off and then following and playing catch up to Mars. It's very similar to how spacecraft launch to the ISS. Sometimes they launch straight up and just catch up to it within a matter of hours, but some spacecraft will actually take a while catching up to it and get to it within another day or so. So what's next for Mars 2020? It's what NASA calls the seven minutes of terror. Perseverance and Ingenuity have been traveling through space scot-free, but the moment they reach Mars, suddenly they're gonna have to deal with an atmosphere and gravity. Spacecraft are designed for this. They have heat shields that as they enter the atmosphere will protect the, the spacecraft inside from burning up upon re-entry, or in this case, just entry. During the seven minutes of terror, we're monitoring the health of the spacecraft. We're watching to make sure it's on the correct trajectory down to the ground, but there's also a period of blackout where we can't even see the, the spacecraft because of the stresses being applied to the relays. In the end, Perseverance and Ingenuity are actually going to be lowered to the ground by something called a sky crane. This is a powered flight vehicle that's going to drop a tether with perseverance and ingenuity attached to it down to the surface of Mars. There's so much that could go wrong here, but if it works, which it would be the second time because the Curiosity rover did the same thing, it's just going to be awesome because then we're going to have yet another rover and the first helicopter, the first helicopter on the surface of Mars. So make sure you tune in to NASA's live feeds which will be starting on Thursday at around 3.15 p.m. EST through JPL. The actual landing is going to take place at around 3.55 p.m. EST. And then later that night, if you have clear skies, when the sun sets, look straight up. Mars isn't going to be the red dot that's right above your head. It's actually going to be slightly lower off to the west. But when you look at it, you'll know that there's now another robot about to begin its journey of exploration upon the red planet. Thank you guys for watching that video, and if you want to follow us 
at Experience De Leona. We have our Facebook, our Instagram, and we're slowly rolling back into a YouTube channel. Beginning on March 1st, we're launching a new series called Hey Sidewalk Scientist, which takes questions asked at Sidewalk Science Center and answers them in a video format. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask, you can comment below with your question, or you can email us or DM us on one of our pages and we will try to make it into a video. As always, thank you to our patrons on Patreon who have helped support the creation of videos like these as well as the continued delivery of Sidewalk Science Center which is a free educational experience in public parks every single week. We've been running Sidewalk Science Center in public parks for free for two and a half years now. And in that time, we've also created science kits and developed other programs to help increase accessibility to educational resources in local communities. If you'd like to support our mission, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash experience de Leona. And for every $5 pledge that we receive, we are donating one free science kit to a participant at Sidewalk Science Center. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next video. And so will zero. <laughs>